So that over there is the climb I came down on Friday afternoon where Colin picked me up. And he dropped me off around nine this morning. Came down, crossed the bridge, and now headed up um, on the other side of the gap. So we've got a 1500 foot climb to start the day. And then it looks like it'll be a ridge walk which is small ups and downs the rest of the day. Goal is to get just under 17 miles in today. So get to it. Trail action this morning, Roxylvania. So this morning's going well, climb was fine. Doing the ridge walk now. Not feeling particularly fast today, but I'm only doing 17, so no big deal. Another really dry section. I mean, I guess the rest of PA is supposed to be pretty dry. So I heard there's water at one of the road crossings today. So that'll be my next fill up. Hopefully, there's cash still there. Other than that, it's quiet. Been out for a couple hours and I haven't seen a soul. Packed out a little salad. Um, and I just ate some pulled pork. It's a pretty good lunch. It's good afternoon. So we just had lunch on a sunny spot. We've got 11 miles left to do. It's slow going thanks to all the rocks. And... Just kind of a green tunnel today. Just watching where I step. Not too much to report. I have not seen a single soul all day. And I'm not feeling confident I'm gonna run into anybody. <laughs> Being that it's a Monday. Alright, I will check in. If one, something exciting happens. Honestly, hopefully nothing too exciting happens. I just want to get the miles in today. I'm always so slow the first morning out after a zero or a night in town. And I definitely just want to get to camp and rest. I would like to do a big, big day tomorrow. Okay. So all for now. I'll show you the trail. rocky afternoon. Lots of obstacles in my way. here is a supplemental water source. I guess that, um, yeah, everything's kind of dry up here, so I'm going to fill up with their spigot, and then I've got to decide if I'm going to do two or four miles. I'm kind of hungry. Maybe I'll make dinner now, too. Unfortunately, they're not open today, which is kind of a bummer, because I would totally, this is prime rib. I would totally do some prime rib. That sounds good. 
Oh, wow. Life goes on. Hello. I'm still hiking. So yes, I did the four miles. Um, the trail wasn't too bad until this last little section. And of course, my luck. I have not seen... I saw some day hikers, but they were like on another trail or were some bird watchers, so they weren't even hiking today. Like, I've seen no one. I get to the shelter. There's a guy. He seems harmless, but he's a little off. And he's got like weird gear, so you can tell he's not like really a backpacker, like something. Yeah. The ones you still clear of. So, the tent sites weren't flat enough and I uh, decided to move on and now there's been a tent site like every five minutes today and of course now that I need one there's not solo hiker problems but I got the miles in today I'll do over 17 which is good and you know, 6.15 now, it's getting dark because that is the MO these days. Might as well get used to night hiking at some point. All right, Rockfield, I have to pay attention now. Uh, I don't think I'll check in later, just because I'm usually one lazy in the evenings and two, it's dark. All right. 7.30, just found my stealth site. So I'm going to get my tent set up really quickly and crawl in and not make dinner. Just do uh, something pre-made real quick as I'm beat. Good morning. So it is about 8. I slept in a little because I did an extra 3 miles last night. And... Next stop is Port Clinton. Their post office is only open from 12.30 to 4 every day. And I have a package and I'm 20, like just over 20 miles away. So I'm not going to make it by 4. And then I would have had to hike like several miles out. And so it just wasn't like going to happen today. <laughs> I'd planned on being there tomorrow anyway. But I'm going to be like a mile out of town probably. And I'll have nothing to do while I wait for my package. Also, I'm not sure my package has been delivered because the USPS is not exactly uh, on top of their game these days. Uh, I don't know. I'm sure everyone has seen the news, but it has been impossible to get packages. Like some deliver in two days, some take two weeks. Makes no sense. So. I don't even know it's actually there. So Colin is tracking it down so I can make a decision. If it's not there, then I'll probably go into Hamburg tonight, resupply, spend the night, and then leave early in the morning. <sighs> it's really annoying. Okay, here's the trail this morning. Oh, and by the way, it's freezing this morning. It is so cold. It's like 37 degrees. All right, I'll show you the trail. This is it this morning. Yeah. A little rocky. Alright, so I am looking for a spot to grab lunch because I'm starving. With the trail has evened out and is this nice gradual increase on this road here, so grateful for a little easy section here before I sit down to eat. So I don't normally make a, a hot lunch, but since I ate my lunch for today, last night for dinner, I'm having Italian beef and peppers and I dehydrated like a bunch of banana peppers and it smelled so good when I opened it. So I'm super stoked to chow down. I hope it's good. So my lunch was great. It was a little spicy um, and really savory and really yummy, but it was a ton of calories and now I feel like taking a nap, not hiking. So <laughs> I'm going to get up, 
moving here and I have about nine and a half miles to do and they'll leave me four to do in the morning um, to the post office which doesn't open until 12 30 so I will have plenty of time to screw off in town while I wait for post office to open. All right I'll check in from the trail. Actually running into some water today filtered water earlier for the first time in probably a week everything else has been carrying water out of town, spigots, or water caches. It's just been a really dry section and it looks like there's more water here and then along the way today. So kind of nice change not having to carry so much water or to worry about it so much, but I was really appreciative of all the trail angels who maintain those water caches because that is not a section you could do without it. So we're at the pinnacle and I am just going to check it out real quick. I, I don't know. The last like three miles have taken absolutely forever. I've just been in a funk since lunch. It was like just too much, I think. Alright. Let's see what we have. About nine. I just left camp a little bit ago, like four and a half miles into Port Clinton, and I'm gonna be there super early because I cannot pick up my resupply box until 12:30. So there's a candy shop in town, and maybe a restaurant that may or may not be open. I'll be there early. Hopefully I can uh, get some get some lunch. Definitely get some fun candy. I would really love you know like sour watermelon slices. They make grapefruit ones. They're really hard to find. They're so good. And then just black jelly beans. I don't need the other colors. Just the black ones. Ah, that would make me happy. Nothing much to report. I really pooped out yesterday. I don't know why. I just had two days off. And then this afternoon, I'm gonna have a big climb out. Like, big, like 1,500 feet in a mile. And then it looks flat, but who knows? And I really need to do 12 miles. And I probably won't be like done packing up my resupply until one. It's gonna be a long night. But I need to make up some time so I can meet Swat before Dun Cannon so we can celebrate his triple crown. All right, this is our road walk. So the freeway's up above us. And then on the other side, they're doing some sort of crazy construction. But at least it's not actually on the road for once, which is kind of nice. And about about an hour and a half till the post office opens. So hopefully I can find a place to grab some lunch. Leaving Clinton, got my food. I was very confused by my resupply. I had way too much food, so I had to abandon some food. And my pack's super heavy, and this is gonna be a brutal climb up. Now time for the thousand foot climb. And I've been spoiled with all these easy climbs that we've had. 